where on earth can you run your summer explorer session outside your church building? Here's our first suggestion, how about just outside your church door? In this church setting, there's a perfect space because you've got a covered veranda where you can pop your table for your activities on to keep it protected from the weather. But also, enjoy the outdoor space uh, and get togged up with your raincoats on if necessary. Alternatively, why don't you just pop things inside the porch so that again you can access them just when you need to. If you've got a school on your doorstep, perhaps you could chat with them about using their school grounds for your activities. You might have a covered gateway like this. Perhaps your church is within walking distance of a public park or some playing fields. You can meet at church and then walk here together. You'd need to risk assess this though, so it might be better using this venue if you were doing the Summer Explorers as a holy club. As you're reading the resource, you will notice that Weekly at Summer Explorers has nine different sections in each session. We've got the open air Bible time and a take home activity, which are great ways to start and finish each session. We have our explore time, which is a chance to uh, explore nature whilst connecting with God. We've got play, a themed based game, create, which is a making activity, praise, which is an opportunity to praise God through music, discover, which is our response activity, and finally we have pause, which is our prayer time. That time just to stop and be. All these activities might seem a little bit daunting, but it doesn't need to be. If you're running a session that's between 40 minutes and an hour long, pick maybe two or three activities only. For your 40 minutes to one hour slot, we do recommend maybe about three leaders. Now obviously, you have safeguarding ratios that you need to keep uh, in mind. Now the diocese have wonderfully created a toolkit and at the bottom of your screen you should find a, a link that will take you to it. Go on there, read up on what's safe and uh, plan your group and your leaders around those ratios. Here are a few tips to help it run smoothly. First of all, think about the weather. On a wet day, the children will need to wear waterproofs and wellies. And of course, if it's nice and hot, they'll need sunscreen and hats. Of course, on a hot day, you'll need plenty of water to keep hydrated. Thanks. You might want to have a tarpaulin or a ground sheet to hand so that you can pop it down on the grass so that you can then sit down. This is great for the pause section. A really helpful tip is to consider whether anything needs preparing in advance of your session. Does anything need cutting out or holes punching before you get there? If you can do these in advance, it'll really help you to maximise the use of your time during the session. You will notice that Weekly at Summer Explorers uses a lot of natural materials during the activities and we strongly recommend that you do use them. However, you may wish to supplement some of the uh, materials with recycled or upcycled items. For example, when we went to go and visit St Mark's Dolphin Home at their forest church, they were making the wind chime. They had sticks, which is what we have in the instructions, but they also used some wooden slats from window blinds. You too can adapt and change some of the materials to suit what's around you. Take a plastic bottle for example. In week four we have a journey stick where you're meant to wrap items around a stick but you could fill a plastic bottle full of those items instead or maybe you could take the lid. The plastic bottle lids are a bit of a pain because you can't recycle them very well but you can reuse them in some of our activities. If you had quite a few of them, you can use them as part of the trail sign activity. You could pre-drill holes in as part of decorations or even to hang on your trees to make your uh, musical tree or the wind chime itself. Take the main body of the bottle, you could cut out circular discs, put holes in them, attach them to a stick and instead of having a leaf rattle, you've got a recycled bottle rattle. For your musical activity. You can even make these uh, feather or leaf shapes out of a plastic bottle body. Uh, you just cut them to shape any size you want and hang them from your nature mobile. Because of the shininess of the bottle it makes a really pretty light as the uh, mobile blows in the wind. It's absolutely beautiful. The aim of Weekly at Summer Explorers is to connect with God through nature. So however you choose to run and adapt the activities, it's just about making sure that that is at the core of what you do. Now we absolutely love it when you send us pictures and uh, show us how you've been using our resources. So 
If you do adapt any of these activities, then please share them with us. The email address will be at the bottom of the screen. And if you're happy for us to share them on social media, just let us know. Um, and just celebrate with us the wonderful variety of activities and imagination that we've got across this diocese and beyond.